You have added your almond flour, whatever type of flour you're going to use, but I love almond flour, your softened butter, your brown sugar, and also want to make sure I let you guys know you can use this. I use this as well, agave. I use two tablespoons of agave, three tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Where is my cinnamon? Okay. One teaspoon of pure vanilla. And you mix that in really, really well. And then you're going to add your baking soda. I just add about like a teaspoon of baking soda. And I do the same about a teaspoon of that's baking powder. That's and then I I'm, I add like about a table a teaspoon. I'm sorry, a teaspoon of baking soda. So that was baking powder that I used. Okay, one teaspoon, and I'm about one teaspoon baking soda. going to do again we're just going to mix all of our ingredients okay we want to make sure that you mix your ingredients really really well so let's do that and yes you can mix all the the ingredients in with the butter the softened butter but I like to make sure that my that my brown sugar and my agave whatever I'm using for a sweetener is mixed in with the butter and the flour first. It just this is how I am, but you don't have to do it that way. You can mix in all the ingredients I mentioned. You can mix in the cinnamon, you can mix in the brown sugar, you can mix in the agave, you know, the agave syrup. You can mix in the pure vanilla. You can do all of that, okay? And of course, mix in your baking soda and the baking powder. And do you hear how it goes? That's to let you know it's nice and moist. When you're doing, mwah, mwah, that's like letting you know that it's truly nice and moist. And this is definitely what you want because when you go to spoon it and put it on, onto the cookie sheet, it will not unravel on you. It'll be nice and firm but soft. Just beautiful. See that? Almost like Play-Doh. Just really good form. And now, what we can do is we want to add a little more butter, depending on what your texture is. You can, but I'm going to add my bake my my chips. Um, my these are basically milk chocolate chips. I'm going to add those right in there. Add as many as you want, and then you can add in your crushed walnut. You can use a um. A, coffee grinder. I had one, but it's now broken. So what I do is I pretty much basically take like a few, you know, walnuts, put it on the plate. Just like this. You know, and then I just take a cup and I crush it. Just like that. Just gather it around and just do it again. And what you're going to do is you're just going to add all of the extra chocolate chips, cookies. I mean your chocolate chips. I want one now. I'm saying chocolate chip cookies. Your chocolates. Your chocolate milk chocolates and you're gonna add your pecans or you can add your walnuts right in, okay? And it doesn't have to be crushed too much because you want your cookies to have some texture too. You want the beer to taste the, the pecans, you know what I'm saying? So we don't want to crush them too much. 
But yeah, we need some morsels. We're going to, we added our milk chocolate morsels. And now we're just going to add in the pecans. Make sure your hands are nice and washed, okay? Even if you're cooking for yourself and one more person, you still want to make sure your hands are nice and clean. This is just the made or these are the, this is the dough that's already made. As you can see, you just Okay, this is already made and ready. So I'm just going to put that to the side. And we're going to just continue to mix this in and then you'll be ready. You're good to go. And you'll have another batch. It's like the one I just showed you. That one was a bigger batch, but I've already put some of the cookies in the oven. So I just wanted to show you before I used up the whole batch what it's supposed to look like. This is just the beginning of what you already saw. <laughs> this is almost the finished product. So, yeah, just make sure you mix the, those, those morsels in really good, your nuts in really good, and you'll be ready to go. Okay? Make sure you mix it all in there. Guys, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Hope you guys have an amazing, amazing Christmas. No matter what you do, I just pray you have fun. That you enjoy the people that you're around, that you give with your heart and your eyes wide open. Um, tomorrow is not promised, not even today. So, whatever you do, just do it with the right heart. Enjoy what you're doing with the people that you love and celebrate them. Celebrate them being alive, you know? Celebrate your life. And if there's something that you haven't done yet, do what you can each week until you reach that goal, until you make that goal happen. Do not give up on yourself. And do not give up on your dreams, no matter how hard it is. If you, there's a will. If you have the will to want your dream, you can make a way. But God will help you do it. You're not alone. So reach out. Ask for help. Look around you. If there's people that's doing what you love, what you want to do, ask them for help. Ask them, how do you do this? You know, get open. No one does anything by themselves. Some people are very, very, very lucky, as they say, but really they're just blessed because God has already put something inside of them that he has given them as a gift. They were just smart enough to not give up and use what they had. We can all find our way. So be encouraged, okay? And celebrate those people that are doing great things. Don't be jealous. Don't be envious. Find out what they're doing. Put yourself around people that are doing great things, and you will do greater things as well. All right, guys. Peace. This is done. I just want you guys to see what it looks like. This is going to give you guys a little inspiration. You know how I am. It's nothing like a little good inspiration to get us through the day. And also, this new year, 2023, is going to be ending before we know it, you know. So we definitely want to go out with some encouragement to give ourselves for the new year coming soon. So just be the light, be the love you want to see. If you don't see it around you, you be it, okay? And be your best at whatever you do. Just give the best that you can, and that's enough. All right, guys, this is done.